Hi, welcome to 505 videos. This is DC here. This video is about iOS 5693 labels, and in this video, you're going to learn how to work with the multiple labels. In doing that, you're going to understand the concept of uh, transition or the state diagrams, which you see in most of the the documentation. So this is what I meant by saying the state or the transition diagram. Now this is a diagram taken from the IS15693-3 document and you're going to learn or you're going to understand what this uh, diagram is all about. Now this is again a similar state diagram but this is from the tag called iCode SLIX2. So if you if you compare this and uh, the previous one now around about almost about 80 percent of this of this diagram is present in the standard so every tag manufacturer can have their own additional state diagrams so what you're going to learn in this video as what i'm going to cover is first of all i'm going to uh, make you understand the meaning of each steps in the diagram First, you are going to understand the diagram that is present in the standard document because that's easy. And after that, you're going to learn uh, the document, the diagram from iCode SLIX2. I will be using the iCode SLIX tag. I'll be using the PN5180 board and the software which I've been using in all my videos on PN5180. Now, if you have been watching my videos, you might have seen I've also explained how to use uh, this IS15693 tags using the OmniKey 5022 reader writer as well. However, this concept, what we're going to do in this and the next video, I still haven't uh, tried and I'm not sure whether it works with the OmniKey 5022. In the next video, I'm going to show you and make you understand the transition diagram which, uh, which is mentioned in iCode SLIX2. Now this concept, what you're going to learn, is going to be an advanced topic and this will be useful for the software developers or if you're a student from technology. If you're a casual user who, who, who wants to understand how to read and write to the various tags, then you know it, it's not really required to know this concept. So in order to demonstrate how to use multiple tags, I'll be using uh, three iCode SLIX tags and these are the URDs of the three tags. So this is a state transition diagram from the standard document. So, so I'm going to explain you now how these uh, how these various uh, state works and what exactly they mean. The power of state is the state of the of the label when it is not powered in the sense when it is not on the on the reader writer now as soon as the label enters the the reader writer field it will go to the ready state this ready state you know it's uh, if you compare this with the the is 1443 tags where you have to activate the tag before you use it so this these IS15693 are are completely different. Now when the tag is powered and when the tag is in the ready, ready state, it is already ready to respond for the commands. If you look at this transition here, it says any other command where select flag is not set. Now you know the select flag is used only when the tag is in the selected state, which is the the you know the transition over here. Now it's, it's very important that you, know, you understand this concept. So without activating or without doing any inventory of the tags, you can just keep sending the commands to the tags and the and the tag will respond for every command in the in the in the data sheet of this uh, of this uh, particular label. So let's see how, how how this thing works first. So you can see here I've connected my PN5180 board along with Arduino and the software I'm using is called PN5180 Made Easy version 2.11. Now 
Now we have seen this software you know, in all my previous videos. I've got uh, three uh, I code SLIX tags here. Now what you're going to learn now is to use this tag without activation. So in order to do that, I have to first connect. Okay, connect. We are going to go to the screen. I'm going to set the RF on. Now I'm not going to use the activate or any, see when you hit this activate button, it's going to send the inventory command, but we're not going to do that. Now before you start communicating with the tag, you have to first set the correct, uh, the, the trans receiver or the transmission, the receiver um, signal frequencies, which is done using this uh, tab here, load. Now I'm going to place one of my tag and hit the read key. You can see here, we are able to read the tag in, I mean, the tag has started to respond for the commands it receives. There are a few changes that has gone into this screen if you have been using this software before. So by default, when the screen loads, the block number is set to a random 24 because the software needs uh, some value in this box in order to do the read operation. Now I'm going to place one more. This is my second tag. Read. So look at that. This is a different tag altogether because this has got the data F2 in the block zero. So likewise, I'm going to try the other tag which I'll be using this video. Read tag. So what you just saw is the working of this transition here. So now at least now you know you don't have to do the inventory or activate IS-1569 attack. As soon as it enters the, the RF uh, field, it is ready uh, to receive the, to respond to the commands. So next I'm going to show you what this uh, quiet state is. Now we're going to come back to select the state after this one. It's very easy to understand this diagram, you know, in the sequence what I'm doing here. Now, quiet state, okay. So you can come to the quiet state from the ready state by issuing a stay quiet along with the UID. Now, after you send this stay quiet command, the label will go to the quiet state. And you have to understand what the label can do while it is in the quiet state. It says it can it can respond to any commands as long as it is it is addressed. Now we have seen this uh, the way of sending the commands. So if you use the address flag, you are sending the command to a specific label with the with an ID. And while in the quiet state, the label will not respond to the inventory command at all. Now it is a, it is a uh, you know, if, if when you start working with the multiple attacks, you know, which I'm going to show you now, now this quiet, uh, quiet state is very useful. Now what I'm going to do now is, I've got three attacks with me. I'm going to first run the inventory command to get the UID of the attack. So keep in mind, in order to go to quiet state, you must have the UID. There are a number of ways to get the UID, but I'll be using the inventory command. Now when the tag is in the ready state, which we know that as soon as it enters the RF field, it is in ready state. I'm going to do the inventory while ready state. You know, while in ready state, any, but any inventory command will match this condition. Now the tag will return me the UID. I'm going to use that UID and send the first tag to the quiet state. I'm going to place the second tag, do the inventory. Now keep in mind, while in the quiet state, this tag will never get distracted by the inventory command. Now in the second tag, I'm going to do the inventory. I'm get, going to get the UID of the second tag and I'm going to use this stay quiet command to put the second tag into the quiet state. And I'm going to place the third tag, do the inventory and get the UID of the third tag. And using the UID, I'm going to send the stay quiet command, send the third tag also in the quiet state. 
Now, after this process, you know, we are, we are going to have three labels sitting in the quiet state. Let's see you now how to do that. Now, do you want to know what's going to happen if you try to place all the three tags here and do the inventory command? So, you will get an error. Let's set this, uh, sorry, let's set the RF font. So, what happened was I just accidentally clicked on the read tag. So, set the RF font and activate. You know the activation fails because because I've got multiple tags, I've got three tags on the reader and obviously there will be a data collusion. So because I'm using the inventory slot one, you cannot create inventory uh, when you've got multiple tags. Now there is, the solution for that is we have to use the inventory slot 16 uh, command which you know the software doesn't support it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do do the inventory one at a time. So activate. So this is the inventory command. The software got the UID of this tag. So I'm going to send uh, send this tag to the quiet state. So in order to do that, remember for the quiet state, you have to have the address mode. You have to send the command address mode. I'm going to click this uh, address mode then stay quiet so the software says the quiet said okay so let's go with what the software said so and also what the software has done is this is a small change here as soon as hit this is stay quiet the uids of all the tags are collected in this drop down list this is just to save some time typing the uid you know when you start working with the multiple tags i'm going to place above that the second tag and do the inventory. Now we got the UID of the second tag. I'm going to say stay quiet. Now we know that we have got two labels of the tags in the in the quiet state. I'm going to place the third one. So just you observe here, I've got three tags sitting on the reader, stacked in a one above the other. Now do the inventory. I got the UID of this uh, third tag. I'm going to stay quiet. Now I got all these three tags which are now in the in the you know quiet state. Now next what you're going to do is you know take a tag at a time, bring the tag from the quiet state. Or before you do that, probably you now it's worth uh, showing you something else. Now if you look at here, in the quiet state, the tag can still respond to the commands if the command is sent in the addressed mode. Now we are going to do that. So I'm not going to, I thought, you know, I'm going to bring this uh, tag from the quiet state to the select state, which I'm going to do after this. Now, while the three cards and select in the quiet state, we are going to send the commands in the address mode and, and make sure that, you know, the card respond. Now, because of the way this software is returned, the way you do this is exactly what I'm showing now. I'm going to choose any random tag say for example i know this uh, the first number ac is the tag one tag one because you know for the software to work it needs some information filled here which you know which can be filled by hitting this uh, get button but the get button here works with with the with the you know top part of the you know with the uid here. i'm not going to use that so we have provided a new button called sysinfo it's called system information so when you hit that so what has happened in our here is, remember anything you do with the tag UID must go with the address mode, address flag set. Now what has happened just now is, a command is sent to this tag in the address mode and the tag has responded here. Now if you hit the read tag command here, now all this read request, if you look at here, the command structure, all the read command are sent in the address mode because you can see the UID of the tag is present in the command. Now the tag has started responding. I know that the very first block has got this uh, value of one. Oh, now if you want to communicate with the second tag which is uh, the next number here, select that, get the information from the second tag and say read 
now you got the data from second tag likewise i'm going to choose the uid of the third tag get the information in fact you know getting information is also sending a command to this uh, specific tag now look at that we got the data from the from the third tag so what we just saw is while the tags are in the quiet state they can still respond to the commands as long as the command is sent in the address mode or in the when the address flag is set to one so th that's all you need to know about the quiet state next thing is that i'm going to show how to use the selected state now here in order to go to selected state you know you can go to selected state either from the ready state or you can go from the quiet state in in, in both the method you have to use the select command and along with the uid what it means is you have to send the select command in the address mode or when the address flag is set to address flag is set in the in the you know the very first request flags now what i'm going to show now is bring the tag one at a time i'm going to bring the first tag from the quiet state to selected state by sending you know a a select uid command to the tag now the tag will transit from here to here now while in the selected state you can you can use the command um, with the select flag set to one. Now all the commands, you can do a number of ways in the selected state. Either you can access the tag in address mode, or you can simplify that by using the command in the selected mode. So I'm going to show that you know with all the three tags. But what I'm going to do is uh, before I take this tag, you know, back to ready state using the reset to ready command. Now I'll be bringing a tag at a time from quiet to select a state. We'll do some uh, read operation and put it back to the quiet state using the stay quiet command. So by doing this, you know, you'll get more comfortable with how this uh, state transition works. Now I'm going to clear these commands. Now keep in mind, you, know, you can't close the screen and come back, but once you close the screen, all the tag you know, will lose the state. Now, this is the first tag with the ID AC. I'm going to first bring this tag into the selected state. So to do that, you're going to use this button called selected, select command. Now here, it says, the software says, whenever you select this, uh, uh, this, you know, use the select command, it says, you know, to click on the get information to get this data here. So you can do that. Now, if you look at the, the command structure, the search command was was used in address mode and also the get system information. Now, while you're in this selected state, you don't need this address mode and address tag anymore, address flag anymore. I can use instead the select flag. You have to keep in mind at any time, at any point in time, you can have only one tag in the selected state. Because if you look at this, uh, the transition here, now, if you select a different ID, if you select a different tag, the current selected tag will go back to the ready state. That's what it says here. Now, we're not going to do that uh, at this stage. So, I'm going to use this uh, read command in the select flag set to 1. Now, read. Now, if you look at the command structure, if you look at that, the these commands they do not have any uid of the tag however the flag says you know it is a the select flag is set to one so this tag has responded now you have done with this tag so i'm going to return this tag back to the quiet state to do that you have to have a address mode and this address tag i'm going to move to the qu quiet state now it's gone there give a try now give a try just try to read something from with the select flag set to one now at present and we don't have any tag in the selected state so if you try to hit this uh, read button let's see what that you get look at that so the read failed because there is no tag in the selector state. 
So we're going to try bringing the second tag into selected state. Now choose the second one. Say select. It's selected. Now get the system information. Read the tag. Look at that. You are able to read the data from second tag. I'm going to send this tag back to. You could have. I could have used this selected again. I will do that. So what you just saw is, while the tag is in selected state, you don't have to always have the select flag set to one. You can still use the address flag uh, in address mode, or in fact, you can. Probably I don't know whether you can use it without the selected tag. Now, just you know, while the tag is in selected state, either use address mode or use this uh, select select uh, mode. After that, I'm going to. And also what the software is doing is as soon as you click the select or addressed, it's going to take away you know, the other flag. You cannot have both select and the address flag set to one at the same time. So that's what you can see here. So I'm going to send this tag back to the quiet state. Then I'm going to bring the third one select and I'm going to go to selected state and hit this read button so this has read all the blocks from uh, tag 3 after that i'm going to go to the address mode and send the tag to the quiet state next you know um, you're going to learn what the ready to reset to ready does now this is the state this is the command you can use once you're finished you know with the tag reading and writing with the tag and you want to put the tag back into the ready state so that it get uh, into the inventory released you know with a with a different uh, cycle so this is very pretty easy here what i'm going to do is first bring the uh, the tag from quite to select state and as soon as i select a different uh, uid okay the tag will return the, the original tag, the, the tag in the selected state will return to the ready state. Now that's what mentioned here. So it says when you can use the reset to ready with the select flag set to one or you can select a different UID that can that will make you know the tag go to ready state. Now I'm going to go to first tag, bring that to select state and probably you now you can do some um, reading here now once this tag that is read I'm going to select the second one if I select this one the first tag in it is going to ready state now so do the reading you can read that I'm going to choose the third one select now the first two tags you know uh, they're gone back to the uh, the ready state now I'm going to read this and finally, now I'm going to use this reset to ready command. Now, we have got all the three tags now that are in the ready state now. Now, how do you verify that these tags you know, are in the ready state? Now, I'm going to do the inventory. The inventory will fail because I've got three tags in a, on the reader. It will fail. Now I'm going to reduce the tags to one tag and do the inventory. If the inventory works, now we're 100% sure the tag has reached the ready state. Now do the inventory. Now inventory has failed. You can see that cannot activate any tag. Clear it. Now I'm going to take out. I should have no. I should have removed just to activate it. You know what I did was and you know, is wrong. I shouldn't have taken all the three, but yeah, it should work so I think what what you have seen in this video so far is now we understood the working of uh, this uh, state transition diagram and in the next video I'm not going to cover these states again we are going to see the additional states introduced by the SL, SLIX2 tags thanks for watching